affects one in 133 people in the U.S. and many may not even realize they have it. Joining us to talk about celiac disease this morning is Dr. Todd Shear with the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. Thank you so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So celiac disease, start off by explaining what it is. Well, celiac disease is an immune condition where individuals who are affected with it when they eat certain foods that contain gluten they'll actually have an immune response which in turn will attack and damage the intestine. That can lead to problems with absorption, uh, decreased bone density, the numerous potential symptoms and even cancers of the gastrointestinal tract. Mm -hmm. What might someone be feeling or what are the symptoms like when you're eating gluten and, and you shouldn't be? Right. So most people who have celiac disease probably won't have any dramatic symptoms. Uh, these days we're catching it early before a lot of the major symptoms develop, but if someone's going to have symptoms, they might experience uh, diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloating, weight loss. There can be uh, problems with uh, headaches, skin rashes, um, and recurrent miscarriages and even infertility. Mm -hmm. Is it genetic? There is a generic, a significant genetic component, correct. Okay, so obviously if, you, if your parents might have had it or other people in your family have it, there's a good chance that you could also get it. There's a decent chance. We do recommend that if you have a first or first degree family member who has celiac disease, you should be screened for it even if you don't have symptoms. Mm -hmm. So what is the treatment out there? Is it just diet controlled? Right, there is no medical treatment or drug for this condition. Basically, it's uh, heavy education in learning which foods contain gluten. Uh, you can't even have a trace amount of gluten. So you, for example, can't share a toaster with somebody who cooked a regular piece of bread in that same toaster. Wow. And of course, we're talking about it this month. It's very timely because it's celiac disease awareness month. That's correct. And it seems like the gluten-free options are growing. The, the shelf at the store ha has quite a, a, a lot of options out there. Right. A lot has changed since I started practicing medicine and no, nobody used to even know what gluten was. 10, 15 years ago now, it's, it's a whole industry of gluten-free products and mm -hmm. there's many people who are on a gluten-free diet who don't even have celiac disease. Does it hit at certain times of your life? Are there certain ages that are affected more or, you know, male, female? That's a good question. You can develop it at any point in your life, um, from childhood to your 80s. It, men and women are equal and it affects all races, all countries. Mm -hmm. Anything else we need to know about celiac disease? Um, just remember that um, a gluten-free diet is, is hard to be on and it's a significant change. So it's really important that if you think you might have celiac disease to go see your physician, get screened for it before instituting the gluten-free diet because once you start that, then it's hard for us to actually test to see if you have it. All right, good information for us, Dr. Shear. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. And we're going to have that information and more information about celiac disease on our website a little bit later this morning at kxan.com.